Yeah, back to more anime. Um, my name is Michael. You're watching the Compendium of Discomfort. Even though, like maybe last time or at least the last anime episode, um, it's very um, now here here it's like truly comfortable. This is like really really feel good. Last time it was emotional destruction. This time is true and real feel good uh, atmosphere. Because we will talk about uh, Kimi no Iro, yeah, uh, in English, The Colors Within, a movie by Naoko Yamada, who is a director of things like uh, A Silent Voice, uh, K On, Harumi Suzumiya, and uh, some other stuff. So, a uh, very, very uh, competent lady. And then the cast we have uh, Sayu Suzukawa, who hasn't really done much, but then we have Akari Takaishi, who you might know from Baby Assassins. If you watch this channel, you know who that is. Uh, she just got announced as the lead cast in the um, next year's uh, NHK morning drama. Uh, that means she's like in a really, 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 really big TV show. That's like one year every morning, 15 minutes, uh, I think is the format. I never really watched that, but it's something many people watch in the morning before going to work. It's super popular. So uh, I think the current one is with Kana Hashimoto. So I'm not going to watch that because I will probably die. And um, the last one looked very interesting with Sairi Ito. So uh, yeah, uh, all like good good stuff. Uh, the one before Sairi Ito was with Shuri, the lady from um, uh, Shadow of Fire that I talked about quite recently. So uh, yeah, good for her. Then we have uh, Taisei Kido, who has done some stuff. Uh, the most popular here is A First Love, a movie that I haven't watched. Um, yeah, and then we have uh, a human named Yasuko, who hasn't done anything else. We have Aoi Yuki, who was, for example, in uh, Your Name, a silent voice, a wedding, weathering with you, and A Night, a Short Walk on Girl. Great movie, watch it. Um, and a lot of other stuff. Then we have Minako Kotobuki, who was in uh, a Berserk, for example, or uh, Lou Over the Wall, and K On, and some other stuff. And then we have Keiko Toda, who was, uh, for example, in Kiki's Delivery Service Vampire Hunter D. We made a beautiful bouquet, and uh, seemingly the original Gundam series. So, uh, yeah. Wow, oh, and, 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 oh my god, she was in Welcome Back, Mr. McDonald, uh, one of the greatest comedies I've seen in recent years. And, of course, we have Yui Aragaki, a very popular lady who I recently saw in the really, really wonderful Worlds Apart, but she was in Mixed Doubles as well, and Mixed Doubles was really good too. So, the colors within, so, we look at this again. Looks like uh, it's about music, and it actually is, and it's a very gorgeously looking movie. Very, is it in English called pastel as well? I'm not hundred percent sure, but you get the idea what this movie looks like. It's really, really terrific. Like the the drawing style, the, the animation style, it's, it's really beautiful. The music is nice, the voice cast is great, and um, it, some elements that I love come together. First, it's a movie about music, so a band movie. Uh, it's a coming-of-age story. It's a boarding school story. I don't know why I somehow have this fetish for boarding school movies. One reason why I enjoyed uh, Harry Potter too much <laughs> when it came out. I know we shouldn't uh, mention Harry Potter in a positive way because he also is a terrible human being, but um, I, I don't know. I somehow love this idea of kids living at school and uh, having adventures there, even if it's a really tiny adventure. Um, 
I don't know, that's somehow very, very appealing to me, even though I never experienced it. Um, yeah, so, um, well, yeah. Anyway, so a lot of stuff that I love comes together. Um, on top, we got some stuff that's a little bit, uh, maybe more special interest. So, uh, there's a, a romantic, um, element implicated, implied. What's the correct word? So it's not really played out. We just have a little hint of a romance uh, with two girls. And uh, I, I watched this movie with a, a lady who is very much into uh, girl, girl romance. And she said, no, that's clearly not a romantic uh, plot. This movie is not about uh, romance. It's clearly about a normal platonic friendship. She's the expert, I'm not. For me, it felt very much uh, very lesbian feelings. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I guess it's open for interpretation. You can see whatever you like. Both is totally fine. And um, then we have uh, not just a normal boarding school, but it's a, a Catholic school, <laughs> which I'm not so much into um but it gives the movie a little bit a unique identity it's something we don't see very often like a catholic school in a japanese movie is quite rare so and it's it's not like preachy or something you just have some christian elements here and there. it's not really a big deal but uh, yeah i'm usually not too high on um religious stuff in movies but it's it's really not that bad so uh yeah good uh but let's see easy, easy basic stuff here what's the, the actual story so the actual story is we have this girl who can see colors is it synesthetics or something like that i'm not sure and even if it's that i'm not sure if that's actually what's depicted in the movie because like she can see colors like auras and she can see sounds she can see colors for almost everything so i'm not sure how much that's the real deal here but um you get an idea she sees a person she's oh that's this color she hears a sound that's this color so we have some very funky um scenes when we see more like her view of the world and at school, she sees this girl and she's like, oh my gosh, she has the most beautiful, wonderful color ever. And that's where I feel like she's like, oh my God, I love this girl. And other people are like, she's just fascinated by her. A little bit like this uh, movie that I talked about um, sometime before, um, uh, My Sunshine, where this girl, uh, the boy sees the girl and he's like, oh my God. That's amazing, but we don't know if he's in love with ice skating or with her. And that's very similar here. So we don't know. Is, does she just feel like, oh my god, this is the coolest, greatest person ever. I want to spend time with her. Or is she like, oh my god, I'm in love with her. And if we remember, like, Catholic, uh, yeah, like, girl schools, it's very normal that girls have, uh, like, oh, crush on other girls because they are mostly just girls what uh, can you do if there's no one else around you <laughs> just fall for what's available and um, <laughs> yeah it's good it's good it's very very nice i i enjoyed this uh, very much and so she uh, tries to find this girl but suddenly she's not coming to school anymore so she spends a lot of time looking for her and then she finds out that she's actually working in a bookstore and uh, goes there to talk with her and uh, in the same moment there's a boy who is very fascinated by her as well and even here too it's not clear is he in love with her i would say yes but uh, maybe because she's always playing guitar he just uh, he's a music nerd maybe he just wants to play music with her we don't know so we have three characters where potentially two are in love with the left one and <laughs> We don't know. Is, is it love or is it something? So 
other movies would make a big deal out of it and turn this into a like love triangle battle who gets a so much spoiler now uh that's not the point of the movie <laughs> yeah they just start a band and uh, have a good time and that's really really cool and uh yeah I, I guess we don't even need a spoiler part here like the whole movie is just about this friendship of the three kids and how they try to make music together the whole movie i was like this is a little bit little focus on the movie that they're playing but at the end you get a full concert so i don't really mind them not showing too much of the songs and the practice or the uh, how they write the songs ahead so they can just play out the whole thing later so that's really cool i was very positively surprised here like wow we get a full three song concert i think it was three maybe maybe four i forgot it's been a while but it's really nice and they don't focus on this love thing too much it's really nice like you if you if you're into this love plot this potential love plot you, you can let it play out you can interpret it the way you feel is you you feel yeah and if you just want to enjoy it as a platonic story like a f story about friendship and having a good time together um that's really nice and uh, of course they all have their little problems and uh, expectations from others for example like this one girl just quit school to work and uh, the boy is supposed to go to university and stuff and uh, the other one struggles with her life in this Catholic school and all these things. So um, it's more about their friendship and how they come together. These three diff pretty different people. And uh, yeah, overcoming these issues, growing up, becoming better people. And uh, yeah, like these, these, these Catholic school issues are very cute. Like one night they get uh, stuck on a little island, like two girls and one boy. <laughs> and uh, that's uh, quite some issue. Or when most of the girls go on a school trip and uh, our protagonist pretends to be sick, she gets her friend over to stay with her and they need to hide her. And of course, there's the evil teacher uh who's maybe not that evil so it's uh, there's not much surprising going on here but uh, that's totally okay it's a very feel-good movie the music is really nice i was very surprised about the quality of the songs i mean of course in a movie like this you get high quality music but that i actually like it is not that common and it's a uh, not the typical pop music a little bit more interesting so it's really cool like this constellation is really nice really fun uh, like i said the uh, visual style is really beautiful so i don't know this just delivered on all levels i, I don't know if everyone is as high on this movie as i am but uh, yeah, I, I got everything I could ask from it and um, yeah, was very positively surprised. I thought, yeah, it's, it's going to be just another anime. But no, it's a really, really, really very good anime. And uh, yeah, if you have the chance to watch it, I would highly recommend it. If you have a little bit like fun watching coming of age stories or band movies or whatever, this is really, really, really good stuff. So uh go watch it it's a uh, yeah and i'm a little bit more interested in watching the director's other stuff i mean i have watched a silent voice which was really good too oh and she, she worked on nichijo kids watch nichijo nichijo is amazing <laughs> yeah but uh yeah cool good stuff uh watch it it's a uh, total recommendation i think it's out in the u.s with the g kids the ones that just got bought by Toho. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I guess it will be available uh, somewhere else as well. So uh, just go for it, get it, uh, watch it. Um, yeah, have fun. Thank you very much. See you. Bye.